Look at this beautiful piece of wild pork. Look at the fat on it. Man, that's good. Salt, fennel, sesame. Turn it over. What this is going to do is it's going to draw out all of the moisture. But it's also going to add some flavour with the, the spices. Add some more over there. That's pretty well salted. So it's going to go into the fridge for 24 hours in this container. It's a pretty much airtight container. We'll come back and check it. Day one of soaking my pork. You can see it's already dried out quite a bit. And on the bottom, you can see all the fluid. The salt is drawn off the pork. I'm going to tip that out, give it a wipe, and re-salt it. I've given the pork a quick rinse in water and dried it off, taking all the excess off. What I'm going to do now is put more salt and fennel and all my mixture of herbs and spices in this and redo the process again. We're up to day five now. I've skipped, uh, I don't know, two or three days, haven't filmed for a while. And I think we're just about at the point now, I'm going to put one last lot of salt on, which is going to be just straight pink Himalayan salt. As you can see, it's really sucked the moisture out of this uh, bit of pork. There's a little bit of fluid in the bottom, not much. Yeah, she's, uh, she's looking really like uh, bacon now, and it's got quite skinny. <laughs> it smells great. So I'm going to wash that off and do one last one in pink Himalayan salt and finish up on that. That's the moisture come out on the fifth day of salting every day. Uh, we're going to tip that out and wash it and start again. Generally I'm not a favour of putting water over meat because it can contaminate it. But I'm in very cold conditions and I'm in an airtight container. So uh, I think we're going to be sweet as bro. Also salting everything which has a tendency to preserve and stop stuff getting uh, rancid. And that feels like really good quality meat. Just been drawing on the rack and on the side out as best we can. I have been treating the meat with this gourmet salt but we're going to finish off with this stuff here. My favourite, the old pink Himalayan. Grinding it really is a two-handed job. One on the grinder and one on the bowl for the sake of the video. Just so you can see what's going on, I'm doing like this but I use two hands. Now when people cure their Mate, salt cure it like I'm here. Everyone's got their own theories on stuff. Oops, geez, we nearly lost it. Some say you use a fine white salt, just like table salt. Some say pink salt. Some say coarse. Some say fine. There's different reasons for different things. But, uh, this is what I do. Only what I do. There are many different ways to do it. I'm going to start off by just smashing that down there and getting on as much as we can. So this is pretty well salted. Pop the base. 24 hours later I've cleaned up the salt, I've sliced it up, there's our salt cured pork. Let's throw some in the pan. Heating the skillet and it's dark fat. I love using dark fat. Leaf lard from pork or duck fat, they are my two favourite fats for cooking with. And then for fish I would say beef dripping. For pace. Oh, smells so good. Well, there's our salt cured pork. It looks a bit like bacon, eh? So, this has been salted six days in a row. Every 24 hours, it's been changed. I'm on a keto diet, so I love a lot of salt. If you've never done this before, I would suggest starting off with maybe salting it two or three days because after six days, there's a hell of a lot of salt in that. And you can tell I'm salivating, I'm about to eat it. The paste is right beside me here. Uh, smells like all the spices, the aniseed and the fennel coming through and the salt from the gourmet salt. 
but also still has retained its pork flavour smell. You can smell the fat there. How is it? Mmm. Oh man, thank you Ricky Brown for shooting that pig, oh, I didn't get that one. No, I'm not going to keep on eating it because that's rude, I'm going to finish this video up. This is a classic way that our grandparents or their grandparents, for many years people used to treat meat by salting it, it's nothing new, it's an old thing that's been done for hundreds of years. It really tastes delicious. Good luck with trying your own salt cured pork. You can do it with beef, you can do it with venison, you can do it with goat, you can do it with any meat. And my advice is start off slow, just maybe one or two, three days max and try it. If you think you can take it a bit more salty then beef it up. The longer you salt it for, the longer it keeps in the fridge. Remember you're not using any nitrates or preservatives so it won't last as long as a normal piece of bacon. But it's much better for you. Be good. Can't be good. Be careful. See you later. Wagging the tail, but salt's not good for dogs. Ain't gonna happen. What? I'm into it.